Hi there, I'm Cher Pendarvis, artist and author of the Painter Wow Books and Artist Tablet Books. In this video, we will explore the dry media in Painter Essential 6. For instance, pencils and the chalk and pastel brushes. The three images on screen that you see here were painted with dry media and my Wacom Intuos tablet and stylus. On the left, the sketch of Marika was drawn using the cover pencil variant of pens, pencils, and markers. To choose the pencil, click the brush selector, pencils, pens, and markers, and select the cover pencil. The piece in the center was painted with a variety of the chalk and pastel brushes. I'm going to click here on the brush selector again and choose the chalk, pastel, and crayon. And here you have soft charcoal, square chalk, square conte, square hard pastel, square extra soft pastel, tapered large chalk, and tapered pastel. And a few of these were used to develop this piece, starting with the sketch and building it through kind of an, a sketchy underpainting and onto the final. And I also used the Just Add Water variant of blenders to blend some areas. The painting on the right, Floating Orchid 2, was painted with the pastels, the extra soft pastel, and the square hard pastel, and the tapered pastel. So these paintings show some of the variety that can be created using the dry media brushes. I've opened a new file and let's do some doodling with a few of these brushes. As you see, I have the cover pencil chosen and the pencils, pens, and markers. I have opened the color wheel and you can do that by pressing Control Command 1 or by choosing it up here, window, color. And I have a dark gray chosen. And I'm just going to press really light so you see how expressive this pencil is. You can make some hatching marks. And it's expressive because I'm using a Wacom Intuos tablet and pen, which allows me to vary the pressure, velocity, and tilt of the stylus to get more expressive marks from the brush. I'm going to switch categories here by clicking on the brush selector and we're going to choose chalk, pastel, and crayon. And I'm going to choose the square chalk right here, which is one of my favorites. And let's pick a bright color here, bright rich color. And you see the nice texture that we get. Scroll down. So very pressure sensitive. Next, let's choose a soft brush. We're going to choose the square extra soft pastel. And I'm going to change my color a little bit. Now, as I press down hard, I'm able to cover more area. But I still get that really beautiful texture along the edges very expressive. And the tapered pastel, and we'll choose a nice blue. So you get a thick to thin stroke. I used this brush to paint the grass in the path painting that I showed earlier. Now I'm going to choose this darker red color again and go back to this square extra soft pastel and lay some other color over the top and choose the square hard pastel and with the square hard pastel we can lay very grainy texture over the other color that we have laid down and you look at my orchid painting right here you see this this soft area here that was painted with the softer pastel and then the grainy texture stumbled over the top with the hard pastel. As you can see, the dry media brushes are capable of a lot of beautiful expression and texture. Now we'll have a look at a painting that I have in progress. I'm going to bring this forward 
sunset at Drake Bay. I started the, the piece by sketching with the copper pencil that I showed earlier, and then I laid the color directly over the sketch using the square extra soft pastel to define some of the edges of the landforms, I used the tapered pastel. Now you see the second stage with more dramatic color added to the sky using the square extra soft pastel. Now as you see, I continue to add some movement in the ocean and I've also used the square extra soft pastel and the tapered pastel to add some structure to the foreground cliff, even though it is in shadow. I'd like to use the square extra soft pastel and I'm going to go back to the larger size and we're going to use this light blue and we're going to add some texture to the sky right here. Now I have very light pressure on the stylus and if we want to add a little bit of brighter blue, see I increase the saturation, we can add a little more texture to our sky and add a little more texture over here. Give these clouds a little bit more depth. And this is just a sketch. Bold, free, and fun. And just a whimsical memory of a beautiful sunset. To finish my study, Sunset at Drake Bay, I added more texture to the sky using the square hard pastel. I also added more to the lower area here as some of the sunlight was shining down on the raised areas near the beach and the cliff. And I added some small gold strokes on the waves. As you can see, a great variety of expressive strokes and textures are available with the dry media in Painter Essential 6. Happy painting! Mm -hmm.